YouTube, what's going on? It's Professional Madden Player T. Davis, and we're back today with another playbook breakdown. We're doing the 32-team playbooks. Today we're breaking down the Denver Broncos offensive playbook, and I will say it's not one of my favorite playbooks in the game. I don't think it has a lot. It's got some okay stuff, but we're here. we got to do all 32 playbooks. We set the goal. We're almost halfway there, eh, maybe a quarter way there. We're on to Denver Broncos today, so hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. Make sure you subscribe here to the channel if you want the best pro player tips. Gameplays, ebooks, and much more. Hitting that bell so you're notified when I do drop all this content. Make sure you're checking me out on twitch.tv slash tdavisbrand as well. I stream during the weeks, during the week, during the day, um, usually between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. So check out pro players playing live on Twitch. It can only help improve your game. Also, check out my multiple playbook defensive ebook. We have run defense, pass defense, nano blitz, and coverage defenses, how to build a scheme, all that stuff in the ebook so check that out as well and as well as my coaching sessions 30 minute and 60 minute sessions man the support has been amazing we recently passed the 3000 subscriber mark here on youtube so i appreciate all you guys so much man make sure you go ahead and like this video comment down below what playbook you're ready to see we're getting to those 32 playbooks but that's it for the intro guys let's jump into today's video the five money plays out of the denver broncos playbook YouTube, what's going on? So we're looking at the Denver Broncos playbook today. We're going to go over five money plays in this playbook. Now, like I said in the intro, to me, this is one of the worst playbooks in Madden 21. But we're here. We got to we gotta do what we're doing for all 32 playbooks, like I've said. So we got to find the five best plays in the playbook. Let's get into it. First formation we're going to look at is single back wing tight. Now, this is a run-heavy formation. And the interesting thing about it is it does have some great runs. So as we know, half back dive. We don't need to talk about that. Really good. But... It has this outside zone run, and you don't see this a lot in single back formations. So when we do have this outside zone run, it's like an off tackle slash stretch. It's going to get to the outside. It's going to get pretty good blocking. It's been good in Madden for the last 10 years. Outside zones, off tackles, and stretches, always your money runs when it comes to competitive Madden. But besides that, we're going to also mix in the PAFL stretch, which I think is a really good play. We also have the 2-6 duo, which I love in Madden 21. I think it's one of the better run plays as well but let's just come out and kind of mix in these plays first play we're going to look at is outside zone um, we're just going to i'm just going to go real quick over the outside zone and half back dive as you can see the outside zone gets really good blocking so we're able to look at that first play we're able to follow our blockers cut a little bit and we're able to take that to the house this outside zone has we have three tight end blocks now the thing about this outside zone as well is we can flick it we can run it to the left or right we can utilize motion now we have a real strong look to the left side with two tight ends and our outside receiver blocking. So this run is just really effective. We'll go ahead and run it one more time here to the to the <clears throat> two tight end side. Come out, hike it. Just get up in there, follow your blocks. We're able to every time we've ran this, we've made a we've had a big run. So that's our money run in this. Also we have the hat back dive. So we're gonna have a little three headed rushing attack. We go hat back dive up the middle and then we got the off tackle to the left and right. So that's simple. But let's break down the passing play that I really like out of this. And that is going to be, oh, it's not on the audibles. Hold on, let me come out in it. It was PAFL Stretch. I think this is the best passing play in the formation. I love it versus zone coverage. It's also going to work versus man because of these sharp uh, routes. But versus zone, I like to do a setup like this. Half, uh, I'm going to put my hat back on a wheel, and I'm going to have the outside receiver on a little out route. So we have that hat back wheel flat combo that we love versus zone. Now we have over the top, we have that tight end uh, post route. It's a sharp post. So it's going to be like a crossing route. It's going to get open to the sideline. It's going to get behind zones. And then I'm just going to streak the other tight end and put a little baby flat route in case they play back. We can pepper the flats. So that's a setup. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see here, we're going to have our halfback wheel all day long in that little area, in that little pocket. Absolute money route. Set it up one more time here. It's going to look like this. We'll try to wait, see if we can get some protection to hit our crossing route to the sidelines. And we don't get enough time, but it was wide open. I'm going to go ahead and actually try that again. Let's go ahead and even double team this guy. And we're getting absolutely screamed at, but we're able to get in there and look at that. Big play to the sidelines with that crossing route. So we have a we have a we have two routes that destroy man, uh, zone coverage. They can't the zones won't play it, so they have to use it. And whatever one they use it, we throw the opposite one. Let's get into the next play. All right, so next play we're going to look at is PA middle. And now this is good versus man and zone. I'm going to come out and run it versus man because we don't see too many man beaters. The zone is pretty easy to beat this year, so we'll come out and reverse man. But like I said, this will beat any coverage in the game. Now the money route here is our two uh, post routes. We have that Court and Sutton deep route, which is really money versus man. And especially if you have 90 deep route running or 85 deep route running if you're on all Madden. 
some good speed will help. Then we have these two routes here in the middle. I like to put the middle tight end on just a little drag route, get him out of the way. I'm going to block my running back. And we're going to have the, these two post routes are money. We're going to quick, we can quick, oh, I got sacked. We can quick throw that R1 tight end route, which as you could see was about to be money. We can probably even keep the play action here. So I'm going to throw this real quick. Boom, look at that quote on that cut. He's going to absolutely torch man to man. I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get to that uh, S route by Sutton. Now we don't have, Sutton's not an elite deep route runner, so I don't know if he can beat his man. See, I don't think he can. But if you had, a, oh, he still gets it there. If you had a guy like Tyreek Hill there, that's going to be all day long money. It's going to get over the top. You want that 90 deep route running if you're on all pro. You want 85 deep route running if you're on all Madden for that circle route. And you want elite speed there. It's going to always work. So we'll go ahead and run it one more time here. Quick throw to that little post. And that we have a horrible tight end there as well. So make sure you guys are using speed and route running at all these spots because that is crucial when it comes to competitive Madden and being a better player. As you can see, we throw it there. So that's the play I want to break down. Then also you can mix in the dive. They also have a toss. They have a little 2-6 duo out of this formation. So it's a nice little power run formation as well. But that's your money play is that PA middle. And then you also have this PA misdirection post play. Which is a really good shot play. I mean, this is just simple. I like this verse zone, preferably. Um, I think Judy could win on man-to-man, -man, but I really do like this verse zone. I would probably just keep a, have a drag and a little flat rope, something like that. Go ahead, and you can cancel the play action. And we'll kind of, oh, there we have the post route wide open, and he destroys his man. But they're in a two, two shell, so you don't want to throw that. But if it is, but you can throw that a little bit quicker. Let me try that one more time here. So it's going to look like this. And as you can see there, he wins. And we have Brett Rippin just throwing absolute ducks. One more time here for the video. We're getting shedded off the outside, but we can throw that quick post right there. We had Judy also winning versus man-to-man -man on the crosser rope. Next play we're going to look at, which is a man-to-man -man money play, is going to be Flood. And now this gun bunch is actually not that bad because it does have plays like Bunch Trail. As you most of you know, Bunch Trail is money this year. So make sure you guys are utilizing that play. I don't need to break that down because we've seen it so many times. But Bunch Trail is money. Make sure if you're in the Denver Broncos playbook, you're utilizing this gun bunch because it has Bunch Trail. It has 518 Hook, which if you have a Road Apprentice, it makes it even better. Um, we also have uh, Cross, which has that money crossing route. So make sure you mix it in. Add in Slip Screen is really good. Verticals. Mesh spot and Z spot. So make sure you're mixing those plays in as well. And those are be versus man and zone. But play we're going to look at here is flood. We love this, love this versus man to man. Now, this tight end, or excuse me, this slot receiver route is absolute money versus man to man. Especially if you have a slot automatic, slot apprentice, route tech, any ability there in the slot is going to make this play even better. All I like to do is, is uh, put my running back on a wheel. Now, if, they, if you get confused and you think it's zone, we're going to have the tight end flat route all day long versus zone. But since this is a man and this is our man beater, our reads are going to be the slot receiver right away on his cut. And then if not, we have the backside dig route, which is going to beat man to man. Um, if they do have, if they do use the, the guy manned up to the running back, which you see a lot, or they blitz, we're going to have the little halfback wheel. So that's our setup. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. As you can see right on the cut, we're able to throw that and oh my goodness, Brett Rippin is just throwing absolute ducks. But the other thing too is usually they're going to press out of a defense like this and they're not pressing here. But if they were to press our slot, it's going to work even better. But as you can see, we can still throw it on the cut and we're getting horrible throws. Let me try to wait about a second longer here. I'm anticipating it too much, which is what you want to do is anticipate it. But as you can see, we waited a second longer there. And he's going to absolutely torch his man to the outside every single time. Um, they're going to have to start to shade outside, and that still won't even really work. It could help it a little bit. They're going to have to start to put some uh, yellows and purple zones out there as well to be able to stop it. We'll go ahead and do it one more time here. So right on the cut, boom, pass lead outside. Able to click on possession catch that every time too. I would recommend possession catching. Sometimes you can rack catch it, but it's a little risky, so I do recommend to possession catch it one more time here. Pass lead outside, and he's always going to win with that leverage now if they do start to go over there and cover it now you can sometimes throw this little in route we don't have a great route runner there we have jerry judy let's see if he can win on the in route he might be able to still and he can't so he's a little too slow he doesn't have the route running so you need that's what i've been telling you guys to beat man to man this year that's why man to man is so good you're going to need that elite man to man route running judy gets it there we threw it right on the cut but he's just not getting the job done there but that route will beat man to man if you have an elite guy there, we'll try to do it one more time on the cut so we can get it. Yeah, there he does beat it pretty decently, but make sure you're getting that speed and rut running there. So that's the third play. Let's jump into the fourth one. 
Next play we're going to look at is super simple. It's just 0-1 trap. This is probably the best 0-1 trap in the game because we're in a balanced formation here in the shotgun ace. Uh, so you can go ahead and run it like this. You literally just come out, run it. 0-1 trap is one of the best runs this year out of like ace slot, ace slot offset. So this year, and the thing about this, you can flick it really quickly. You can uh, flip the play really quickly, get it to the left side. It doesn't take a lot to get that motion, to get that audible to the left. So you can just kind of flip it back and forth if you want to, left and right. The only guy that moves, obviously, is the running back. But it's just, you, in practice mode, you get great sheds. But if you guys run this in a game, you'll see that the 0-1 trap is just super effective. It's pretty simple, too. You can come out and it. look for it in your playbook. Whether you're in Denver or not, make sure you're mixing in this 0-1 trap. Because it's so good, you can create a nice little run-heavy attack if you mix that in with the inside zone. You're going to get an automatic 4-5 to five yards on this play, and sometimes usually turn it into a big play. They're going to have to do a lot to defend it. If you start to guard that, then you can mix in that inside zone, so you have a great rushing attack here in this ace offset. Now, you can mix in a few of the pass plays here. I do like to play PA Reed with the tight end crossing route. I do something like this, and we're also going to have a good post. This is the setup I would do for PA Reed to make a little mini scheme out of this formation. As you can see here, we're going to throw that little post. Kind of a bad throw right there by Rippin. We wanted to throw it a little bit sooner. Go ahead and do that one more time here. But the money route is this triangle route. If we have enough time to get it there, we don't. So we'll check down to our flats. So they're playing back. We hit the flats. If they're playing up on us, we can throw that crossing route. And then you also have corner strike, which is decent. Those C routes are going to beat man-to-man. -man. We're not facing man-to-man -man here, so we're not going to throw. But if you were playing man-to-man, -man, those C routes are going to be money. But our main thing, like I said is the 0-1 trap. That is the fourth money play in this playbook. You want to mix this in majority of the game if you want to be a run-heavy player because of how effective it is. Let's jump into the fifth and final play. All right, guys. Fifth and final play is going to be circle out of gun spray. This play is absolute money. It's going to be man, zone, anything they throw on the field, you're going to have routes. They're going to beat it. Let's go ahead and run it versus man to man here. So as you'll see, this crossing route with squares, the, probably the money route in the play, but this running back route is really good as well. Now, I like to... Uh, the things you could do here on the other side is multiple different things. I like to usually keep Judy on his route. It's a pretty interesting route. It can sometimes beat man-to-man -man if you have a speed demon there. On the right side, I like the setup how it is. I'll probably put Circle on a little smoke screen, kind of get him out of the way of, this, of the running back route and the uh, Circle route. So let's go ahead and run it, take a look. What do we see? We're going to wait for our crossing route, get open to the sidelines. And as we've seen throughout this video, the quarterback is terrible, but we're not worried about that quarterback. We're worried about what the routes are doing and how we can be effective with these plays. Once again, we get throw that circle, uh, that that uh, that crossing route earlier because he's getting he's winning right off the line of scrimmage. And as I've broken down another video on my channel, you'll see these routes, these crossing routes from the outside, just super good versus man to man. They're gonna a lot of times beat their man right off the jump as we do again there. But now versus man, you can throw it like that. But versus zone, you probably want to wait. Till he's on the sidelines and and uh, throw a pass lead. So like that, we're gonna wait till he's on the sidelines. We got Cortland Sutton. He's got about two, three steps on him. Pass lead outside. Click on rat catch that. And now we can try to throw this running back route as well. He's going a little deeper than I would like, but we'll wait for that cut. And as you can see there, he gets that separation versus man to man all day long for a big money play. So this has been five money plays in the Denver Broncos playbook. Like I said, not one of my favorite playbooks in the game, but if you do if you do run this playbook, make sure you utilize these plays. And that's it for this video, guys. Appreciate all the support. Keep it locked on the channel. Make sure you're hitting that bell so you're notified when I do drop all this content. Till next time, I'm out.